the homunculus fallacy. So the homunculus argument is an informal fallacy whereby a concept is explained in terms of the concept itself, recursively, without first defining or explaining the original concept. This fallacy arises most commonly in the theory of vision. One may explain human vision by noting that light from the outside world forms an image on the retina in the eyes and something or someone in the brain looks at these images as if they are images on a movie screen. Have you ever thought of this? Okay, we know that light comes into the eyes and then hits the retina. And then, it, well, but how, do, how does that turn into the images we see? We, we might think, well, there's sort of an eye behind the retina that is watching the retina like a movie screen. This theory of vision is sometimes termed the theory of the Cartesian, as in Rene Descartes, uh, the Cartesian theater. It is most associated nowadays with the psychologist David Marr. The question arises as to the nature of this internal viewer. The assumption here is that there is a little man or homunculus inside of the brain looking at the movie, or maybe the homunculus is the pineal gland, right? So Descartes is kind of thinking along these terms at one level or another, that the pineal gland is this kind of internal viewer uh, viewing the signals from the retina, uh, but then he is thinking of it as as viewing this, as perceiving the signals from the ears and from the fingers, etc., and from the tongue. But it's this little man inside of the brain, right? So at some level, Descartes is certainly engaged in this way of thinking. Um, the reason why this is a fallacy may be understood by asking how the homunculus sees. How does the homunculus see? The internal movie. The obvious answer is that there is another homunculus inside of the first homunculus, inside of that homunculus's head or brain looking at this second movie. But that raises the question of how this homunculus sees the outside world. To answer that seems to require positing yet another homunculus inside the second homunculus's head and so forth. In other words, a situation of infinite regress is created. The problem with the homunculus argument is that it tries to account for a phenomenon in terms of the very phenomenon that it is supposed to explain. Okay, and then there's this image, you know, so uh, the person here is seeing a fried egg and inside of his, on the back of his retina is a movie of the fried egg and the homunculus is looking at that. Uh, but now inside of his head, there's a movie screen and there's another littler homunculus and then another movie screen and another little homunculus and so on and so forth onto infinity. Homunculus is all the way to infinity. 